Second Edris chapter 15 verse 27 For now are the plagues come upon the whole earth and ye shall remain in them for the most high shall not deliver you because ye have sinned against him I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai Bahashem Rakakwadash double honors to my apostles and elders of great millstone who rule well salutations to the Lord's whole four elect scattered abroad all right, I'm the brother Tiles of War. Back at you again with another lesson. And uh, this one is on the uh, new virus here in America. All right. Uh, it's called the monkeypox virus. All right. And uh, here's a few articles that came out about four days ago, six days ago, a week ago. It says USC's first case of rare monkeypox disease since 2003. Uh, BBC News, it says monkeypox, more than 200 contacts tracked in the U.S. for rare disease. More than 200 people being tracked for possible monkeypox exposure. All right. That was a week ago. Uh, USnews.com, monkeypox monkey case confirmed in the U.S. resident. The Washington Post. Monkeypox virus reported in a person who flew from Nigeria to Dallas. All right, monkeypox case discovered in Texas, New York Times. And that was two weeks ago. All right. And um, I actually came across this this uh, monkeypox thing, this virus, this, this new virus uh, from a, a YouTuber. All right, so I just Googled it to see if it was true. And uh, here we are, you see these different articles from these credible sources, all right? So, you know, ain't no telling what E got cooking up, you know? And um, here we are, all right? I remember a couple of years back, it was the Ebola. And now, here's something called the monkeypox. Now, I want to get a few pictures real quick. And, you know, here you are, you see this... These lesions, you know, that shit is nasty, man. Woo. All right. And even though Esau, all right, create these certain viruses in laboratories, but it all goes back to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, because the Lord said he will bring plagues upon the earth. All right. See this boy face here. Monkey pox. I wonder why uh, people don't get chicken pops anymore. When I was growing up, when I was younger, all right, you know, people was known for getting chicken pops. But I'm not going to say why they not, because I think I have an idea of why not, and it's dealing with that V. All right, these Vs change every, every, uh, every year, you know, and now we on to this what the world already know, all right, that type of uh, thing, so anyway, you know, kind of touching on subjects like this, you know, breaking YouTube guidelines, they hit you with that medical misinformation, so this is not medical misinformation, you know, if something wrong with you, go see your doctor, man, as a disclaimer, all right, but I'm um, just here to report and uh, put out this news that uh, kind of been, you know, been um, sneaking through the radar. And it's called the monkeypox virus. All right, brothers could do their due diligence and look up even more. But what I want to do here is I want to type in the word plagues. Okay. I want to type in the word plague. It says... A contagious bacteria disease characterized by fever and delirium, typically with the formation of buboes, bubonic plague, and sometimes infections of the lungs. Pneumonic plague. It says an outbreak of plague. All right, so normally it's a contagious bacteria disease. But the word plague means a contagious bacteria disease, 
characterized by fever and delirium, typically with the formation of buboes, bionic plague, and sometimes infections of the lungs. All right, an outbreak of plague. So, all right, it says third person. It says cause continued trouble or distress to. Okay, continued trouble or distress to. He has been plagued by ill health. All right. So, you know, yeah, having something like the monkeypox, you know, would be an affliction. It would be torture. It would be troubling. Okay. It'll be causing suffering too, you know, so you can say you would have some sort of plague. All right. And these plagues are nothing new. So what I want to do, eh, I typed in the word plague in the uh, scriptures. And uh, from the Apocrypha alone, it gives you 19 re uh, results. All right. It shows up 19 times. And uh, I'm going to read a few of these precepts here. This is 2nd Edges chapter 15, verse 27. For now are the plagues come upon the whole earth. Ye shall remain in them. For Yahweh shall not deliver you because ye have sinned against him. All right. So we understand why these plagues are sent. Because we're in that time that the Lord is visiting this earth in which he made. All right. So the Lord said, for the most high shall not deliver you. All right. So some people going to have to perish. Okay. And die of these certain judgments. And to prove that, let me go into um, uh, what scripture is that again? I think it's uh, Jeremiah 15. Let me see. Right, this is Jeremiah chapter 15, verse 1. It says, Then said Yahweh unto me, Through Moses and Samuel stood before me, yet my mind could not be toward this people. Cast them out of my sight, and let them go forth. And it shall come to pass, if they shall, if they say unto thee, Whether shall we go forth? Then shalt thou tell them. Thus saith Yahweh, such as are for the death, to death, such as are for the sword, to the sword, such as are for the famine, to the famine, and such as are for captivity, to captivity. And I will point over them four kinds, saith Yahweh, a sword to slay, and the dogs to tear, and the fowls of heaven, and the beasts of the earth to devour and destroy. All right, so the Lord uh, set you up for a certain particular death, or let's say certain particular judgment. All right, so this will be judgment. This will be judgment on certain individuals, man. This is why we ha you got to fear your how about you, shot. Because this could happen, happen to you, man. All right. So, yeah, we're getting closer and closer, man. All right. For that great day. So let's read a few more. Uh, it says, for Yahweh shall not deliver you because ye have sinned against him. And that's right. And that's to you, you, you two thirds, you know. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native and Seminole Indians. You so-called West Indians. You so-called uh, Haitians. You Israelites. You know, because you have sinned against Him, and that's why it's important to come back to the Lord. Scriptures say, "Seek the Lord while He may be found." Okay, let's get this. Second Edges fifteen and five. Behold, say of the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world: the sword, famine, death, and destruction. All right, so not only plagues are diseases and, you know, bring ill will to you and sufferings, afflictions, but also plagues is that continued trouble. All right, so the sword is a plague. The famine is a plague. Death and destruction. And we see that going on around the world right now. All right, the scriptures say in Proverbs 29 and 2. Let me get that real quick. This is uh, Proverbs 29 and 2. It says, when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked bear rule, the people mourn. And right now you can see that the people are mourning around the world. This is why you're seeing so many protests and uproars of the people. I believe in France right now, they're going crazy. All right. They're back to that um, yellow, something similar to the yellow vest, protesting and fighting the police. So guess what? The uproars of the people have not stopped. 
and that's because the what the wicked is bearing rule and that's esau edom all right which is today known as the elite banking family all right in particular the rothschilds all right so going back uh second edge is 15 11 but i will bring them with a mighty hand and a stretched out arm and smite egypt with plagues as before and will destroy all the land thereof and it's not talking about ancient egypt this is talking about the uh egypt today all right which really represents bondage for the israelites did not the lord said um um we shall be uh what's that deuteronomy 28 68 deuteronomy 28 verse 68 let's get that it says and the, and yahweh shall bring thee into egypt again with ships all right because at this point we was delivered out of ancient egypt all right we went through the wilderness with moses all right that's why you have the book called the ex the exodus okay so it says shall bring thee into egypt again with ships by the way whereof I spect unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies for bond men and bond women, and no man shall buy you. All right. This is where uh, us Israelites were sold on auction blocks. Okay. And our ancestors, all right, uh, did not see uh, family members. Family members was ripped apart. Okay. Sold across the world, man. Well, some of the boys, I should say, the men, the boys that were returning to men were sold for harlots, man. You know, shows you how nasty uh, Esau is, man. Okay. And they sold a woman for wine. So, you know, this is the history here. It says, and there shall you be sold unto your enemies for bond men, bond and bond women, and no man shall buy you, meaning you're going to be slaves. So this is what made Esau bless. You know, especially having the Israelites in captivity, which we are still in captivity to this day. And it says, no man shall buy you, meaning no man shall save you. All right. Because only Yahweh Shai, all right, is going to get us out of this. All right. So this is second edges 15 and 27. For now are the plagues come upon the whole earth and ye shall remain in them. For Yahweh shall not deliver you because ye have sinned against him. Second Edges 1549, I will send plagues upon thee, widowhood, poverty, famine, sword, and pestilence, to waste thou houses with destruction and death. Uh, Second Edges 1559, thou as unhappy shall come through the sea and receive plagues again. Second Edges 16 and 5, plagues are sent unto you, and what is he that may drive them away? Yeah, because the plagues are sent. So who's going to drive these plagues away? Okay, no one. It says, verse 2nd Edges 16, 8. It says, the mighty Lord sinneth the plagues, and who is he that can drive them away? So these things must come to pass because it was written. Okay, 2nd uh, Edges 16, 14. Behold, the plagues are sent and shall not return again until they come upon the earth second edge 16 16 like as an arrow which is shot of a mighty archer returned if not backward even so the plagues that shall be sent upon earth shall not return again all right let me go here second edge 16 37 it says behold the plagues draw nigh and are not slack yeah and they're not slack because the Lord ain't going to let up. This is that continues that continued trouble, man. All right. Talking about lockdowns and going back into that. So lock you. Okay, I'm having internet issues. Just trying to. All right, here we go. Uh, all 
This is 2nd Andrew 1639. Even so shall not the plagues be slack that come upon the earth, and the world shall mourn, and sorrow shall come upon it on every side. So this is not, you know, just a little country thing in America. This is happening around the world. You know, once it happened here, it's going to happen everywhere else. And E is going to make sure of it. All right. Because he's still in the uh, moment season of pushing his agenda uh, toward his NWO. All right. So even so shall not the plagues be slack to come upon the earth and the whole world shall mourn and sorrow shall come upon it on every side. All right. And that's why everybody in the world is catching hell right now. You know, every side of the world is catching hell. All right. They got different strict laws in different places right now. All right. You know, in some places it's all right. Some places it's the end of the world. You know, uh, there's a one thing I wanted to get with Edris. Uh, if I can find it, bear with me and I'm going to wrap this thing up. Uh, So lock here, let me Okay, it was in sixteen. I knew it was somewhere. Alright, because um let's read from sixteen. This is second edge of sixteen sixteen. Like as an arrow which is shot of a mighty archer returneth not backward, even so the plagues that are sent upon the earth shall not return again woe is me woe is me who will deliver me in those days because Ezra had visions of today's end and he was shook he got shook for a moment all right after the lord sent these plagues and he saw the state of the world and Ezra said woe is me woe is me who will deliver me in those days because why the only way to get through this to get through these plagues is that the Lord deliver you from them. All right. That his judgment don't rest upon you. All right. It says the beginning of sorrows and great mournings, the beginning of famine and great death, the beginning of wars and the power shall stand in fear, the beginning of evils. What shall I do when these evils shall come? Behold, famine and plague, tribulation and anguish are sent as scourges for amendment and these plagues are coming because of your wickedness all right so it says are sent as scourges for amendment uh let's see real quick yeah okay amendment in the etymology it says betterment improvement of persons correction reformation all right so that's what amendment is improve advancement correction all right amendment it says uh betterment improvement of persons correction reformation uh rectification correction advancement improvement all right so amendment means improvement betterment correction so when the lord says here in second edge of 16 19 behold famine and plagues tribulation and anguish are sent as scourges for amendment all right for your correction it says verse 20 uh but for all these things they shall not turn from their wickedness nor be always mindful of the scourges behold victual shall be so good cheap upon earth that they shall think themselves to be in good case even then shall evils grow upon earth, sword, famine, and great confusion. It says, For many of them that dwell upon earth shall perish of famine, and of the other that escape the hunger shall the sword destroy. And the dead shall be cast out as dung, and there shall be no man to comfort them. For the earth shall be wasted, and the city shall be cast down. There shall be no man left to till the earth, and to sow it. The tree shall give fruit and who shall gather them. All right. So that's basically the point. And this is prophecy. Okay. 
This is prophecy, man. All right, so Lord willing, I hope this lesson was edifying. All right. Uh, go back to the monkey pox virus, the do virus. And, um, you know, it's here. These are just more plagues. All right, more of that continued trouble. All right, more diseases. All right, to bring affliction. Okay. So, oh, to bring more suffering. Scourges for amendment, for correction. But the Lord said they will not, uh, they will not repent. All right. So I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash, double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's elect, Shalom.